Hey guys, so I just want to go over the beginner's wig unit just a bit for those of you who are not familiar with it. So the beginner's wig unit is available at Posh Collection online. I love poshcollection.com. And this unit is like an everyday unit. This isn't something that requires glue in order for it to stay on. Um, this texture here is called Malaysian Mink, which is currently our most popular um, texture. And so what a beginner's wig unit is, is basically, again, an everyday unit. If you're looking for something that you don't have to sleep in, that you can put on and take off daily, this is the unit that you want. Um, it comes in a HD lace as well as a transparent lace. Um, if you go on the website, then you can read the description and you'll know the difference between a transparent lace and a HD lace. Or you can look at some of my past videos where I explain it in detail. But the beginner's wig comes with, and the name beginner's wig is for beginners. Those of you who are not familiar with this whole wig life or... Um, you don't want the complication of getting a full lace unit or frontal that you have to glue on or if you're concerned about your edges because the great thing about the beginner's wig unit is you can leave your edges out. I love to leave my edges out because not only does that protect my edges from any possible glue, which I've gotten into that before, um, wig units do not pull your edges out. Um, the application of wig units and the maintenance of wig units is what caused people to get the balding edges because technically the glue is never supposed to touch your hair. It's supposed to touch your skin, but that's a whole nother video. But let me stick to the subject. So you leave your edges out on for the beginner's wig unit. The lace is a five by five, so you can pretty much put it on your head, center it, and it allows you to part it five inches from left to right wherever you need your part at and it comes with an elastic band in the back that we actually add to the wig so this allows it to stay on your head so if you don't want to go across your forehead the lace part with any type of adhesive the wig is not going to come off if you need to run to the grocery store real quick pick up the kids from school, go to a game, you know, go to the kids game or something, and you don't feel like stressing about combing your hair or um, putting glue or adhesive on the lace, this will stay on your head, okay? It comes with combs as well. I don't use the combs. I don't like to have the combs like stuck in my braid. Some people do. I literally just pop this on my head and I am fine. So I'm just going to show you guys, but look at that texture. This is what you get after you shampoo it and let it air dry. And again, in other videos, I explained that, that basically what you want to do is shampoo the hair, let it air dry, either just by hanging it up and letting it dry overnight, or you could put it in front of a cool fan. You never want to dry your wig units or hair bundles with heat. Okay, you get the best feel, the softness, you get that texture, that wave pattern when you use cool heat. So I've explained that in detail in other videos, but you can see how this hair is just flowing. This is how all our wig units come. People absolutely love them. They do really great, and I'm just excited about the future of this beginner's wig unit. It's like a movement now. It's a movement. We want our edges. We don't have. We don't want to have to choose between our edges and our wigs. We want both of them, right? So this is gonna give you both. You are gonna keep your edges, and you are gonna be able to wear your wig. So let me just pop this on my head real quick. I just love brushing it. Look at that. That's how your wig should be. That's beautiful. Okay. So, and then with this one, this is a 200%. Let me just do something real quick. So I'm going to put a stocking cap on my head also. So this is what you guys would do. You know, if you're putting it on at home. Some of you who have actually sat in my chair 
and gotten a wig put on, you notice that I do a little more detail with my wigs. Because when you come into the salon, it's my job to give you the professional version of it. So that's when I do the whole pull down and put the cap up against your forehead and all that stuff. But if you're at home, because this is what we want for the beginner's wig. We want convenience and not complication. So just put a wig cap on your head. The purpose of this, I mean the stocking cap, the purpose of this is to kind of give it that whole natural scalp look. So that's why you use a new cap. And honestly, sometimes when I get a little like urban or I don't have a, a stocking cap, I will literally go on top of my braid just with a little bit of brown foundation, like wherever my part is going to be. And that works fine. Of course, you'll have to eventually shampoo your hair, but you have to do that anyway. Some brown powder won't hurt your head for a minute. But this is a 200% and I added another bundle because that is an option on the website where you can add a bundle. So say if you want to purchase a 200% wig, but we don't have 200% available. We only have 130. There's an add a bundle um, section on the website where I literally go into your wig and I stitch an additional bundle inside your wig. Or even if you have 200% and you want it even fuller because 200% is as thick as they come. So if you have a 200% and you want it even thicker, then you can select the add a bundle and I'll hand stitch the bundle in. But the thing is, it can't be, the wigs come, um, the wigs come um, machine sewn, but I can't go back behind it already being complete and machine weft the tracks in. So I have to hand stitch it, but I hand stitch it close. So you won't even better tell the difference. So this is a 200% with the additional um, bundle added to it okay and this one is a HD but honestly it just depends on you know what your pockets want to spend what you want to spend because you're going to get just as great of results with a transparent lace the HD you'll just notice that it's easier to blend it in with your skin but you're still going to get great results no matter which wig you get whether it's transparent or HD. So you see how easy that was to put on my head. And then you have this lace here. I'm gonna pull my cap just back, just a little bit behind your hairline. So if you guys can see how transparent or how thin the lace is. Okay, and so you could just part it on the sides. And I haven't curled this wig or anything. So this is just how it comes prior to curling it, prior to trimming the ends, cutting any layers in there. And that's also an option on the website where you can add layers for those who like that nice little layered fluffy look. So we have a middle part here. I mean a side part, a right side part, I'm sorry. Then you could do your middle part. Okay. And if you do your middle part, you could either, some people like to mold the top down with a little bit of mousse, or some people like to use the hot comb. My suggestion is whenever you're, when you're air drying the wig, after you shampoo it and you air dry it, go ahead and put your part wherever you want the part at so it'll kind of be tamed in there. Or you could do your left side. So this five by five unit is super popular no matter whether you do a transparent lace or a HD lace, the five by five is the way to go, okay? So you see how I just got three parts without having to shift my wig left or right. So this is what you're getting when you purchase a beginner's wig unit from Posh Collection. It's the movement, y'all. We doing a movement. No more choosing between your edges and your wigs, baby. We want both. We want both. We want both. <laughs> see y'all later.